Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today I have received yet more Buckyo hair figures, the new collection, not the old collection. And yeah, pretty excited about this. You know you know like I'm absolutely crazy about the Buckyo hair cartoon. I think it's amazing. Gutted that it was so short lived. But I do have some more new Buckyo figures. Now we've got one completely different new one, but I've got two as well of uh different versions they've released of the characters. So I've already got a Bucky O'Hare, but now we have Stealth Bucky O'Hare. Or, uh, yeah, Stealth Mission Bucky O'Hare, you can see down here. Um, so basically, Boss Fight Studio, the company behind this, um, they re they're the ones re-releasing these Bucky figures, but they decided to do like different costumes, and I saw somewhere, I'm not sure if they posted it or a tweet, saying it does make sense to have a camouflage Bucky O'Hare because his original like red and yellow costume is so bright if he's going on his missions he's going to get easily spotted I thought yeah that pretty, pretty does make sense pretty pretty does make sense does make sense pretty much so this is stealth camo Bucky so you can see he's like all blue he's got like I don't know just how well you can see it because I'm leaving this one in the uh, in the packaging so you can see he's got all the black like makeup marks whatever you call them Got black gloves, black gun, all the camouflage. And on the back, we've got another um, title card which says, As spiffy looking as it is, Captain. Oh, there you go, this is where it says it. Captain Bucky O'Hare's red and yellow uniform is not very high on the inconspicuous scale. Unbeknownst to the general anniversary population, SPACE tech geeks and loose monocle wranglers have developed chameleon cloaking technology that can be utilized for color changing fabrics. There you go and partial holographic facial overlay projections. Bucky's suit is preloaded with 27 patterns and combos, but the most useful is probably the stealth mission format. <laughs> format? Format. Bucky used the stealth mission format when he did his covert infiltration of the Toad Biogenics Lab in the middle of the super rating sludge swamp in the lowest level of complex where all the industrial waste is dumped. Ooh, and apparently these little um, card bits, these this information was written by Larry O'Hammer, who created Bucky O'Hare. So that is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm not going to display this. I'm going to keep this on in the packaging. The good thing about this packaging, you can take it out because you see how the clip on the end. This plastic just simply comes off, and then it can be clipped back on. So some people, when I featured these in the first video, said. Oh, why do you take out the packaging? You know, it's not going to be worth that much and stuff. I'm not going to sell them anyway. But, um, yeah, that's the reason. You can't actually take them out without ripping anything. Um, so, it also shows you whatever ones are released. Coming up, we've got Storm Toe Trooper. Can't wait for that one. So, we've got another Jenny figure now. So, this is Astral Projection Jenny. She's just got a different hair colour. Um, she's got like, more colourful orbs on her body. And there's different powers there. So that is pretty cool. Not an awful lot different to the first one. Oh, actually, no. When you look at them on the back, you can see them clearly. There is quite a bit. So that is cool. I mean, I went for like 20 odd years not having a Jenny figure at all, and now you got two. So that is pretty cool. And actually, I forgot I ordered this one because I'm not really interested in buying all the different variants, even though the stealth one is quite cool. It's a, also a, a um, a holiday edition Bucky O'Hare it's like a chocolate bunny kind of Bucky O'Hare but I haven't got that one I thought ah, I don't need it but maybe I will one day we'll see anyway so for Jenny's card all sentient protoplasm in the universe hold the artificial riches artificial riches of older baron bloody hell this is hard to read let's try that again all sentient protoplasm in the universe hold the artificial riches of Aldebaran in supernatural awe. No mammal, invertebrate, or amphibian has a clue about the full extent of the mystical feline's arcane, psionic, and telekinetic abilities, but it is generally held that they can project themselves into the astral plane and move in ectoplasmic form outside their corporeal bodies. It is suspected that Pilot Jenny used her astral projection entity to penetrate the core CPU at the heart of complex. There is a rumour that there is an asteroid populated by beatific mice who bought the secret who bought this who bought the secretive universe back when it was cheap. 
okay, who know the darkest secret secrets of the rich queens of Alderbaran, but that is purely conjecture. Wow, that's a pretty complicated thing to understand, there, those big words and stuff. Yeah, so we got Ash Objects and Jenny. And now, my favourite of the bunch, because this is a brand new figure. Of, I did have this originally in the old days, but it is none other than Dead Eye Duck. Oh yeah, what a classic character he is. And look at that. Awesome. I love the way this guy looks. So, num he's release number five, Chief Gunner's Mate, Dead Eye Duck, former space pirate. And here's the back for him. As Chief Gunner's mate of the SPACE, Frigate Righteous Indignation, Deadeye commands the main Mesa, M-A-S-E-R. It's in their capitals, that's why I read it that. Cannon to it and is in charge of boarding parties and other special events. His is a swashbuckling veteran that is entitled to wear numerous decorations for gallantry, including the Space Gunnery and Infective Medal and Oak Leaf Cluster for... Fiturepative <laughs> for Hemans. What's going on here? Dead Eye Duck was expelled from the notorious space roving pirate called known as the Corsair Canards, I remember that episode, of Cannabis Free, for believing in fair play and the intrinsic dignity of all sentient protoplasm. He honed his M-A-S-E-R gunnery skills as a feisty black drake for hire mercenary on a Betelgeusian banana runner <laughs> during the Great Clone Uprising. Ooh. See, there's so much more to the history of fucking here. It can go on. The series could be brought back. All this can be in it. Do it. Do it. Someone out there, please do it. He later projected his unique four-handed quick draw technique battling post-adolescent android tortoises in the weasel warrens of the Caesar Slide Planet Sludge. Is That could feature in the arcade game, I think. I'm not sure about that. The Caesar <laughs> Planet Sludge. That's amazing. Anyway, what I'm going to do now, guys, is take this figure out, because this is going in my display cabinet, and I will show you that. Do, 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 do. Okay, guys, so here is Deadeye in all his glory, with his four arms, armed with four different types of weapon, actually. If you look closely, the guns, the laser guns, are all different barrels, so you've got, like, this, uh, focus, you bugger. You've got this, like, swirly one at the top, you've got a different one there, and on the side there, you've got a couple more. Those two are actually quite similar on that side, but yeah, it's cool to have different designs. I, I very well detailed. That's proper Dead Eye Duck. A lot less chunky than the original um, figures we had back in the 90s. Um, there's quite a few points of articulation. His feet move back and forth. I mean, it's, his leg doesn't seem to go very far. Maybe these are a bit stiff as well. Um, the arms, flexible joints, can go in and out. The only one I can't move much at the moment is this bottom one. And I don't want to mess with it too much because I don't want to break it. But that seems a bit stiff there. But apart from that, the figure's awesome, and it's not like I'm going to be out playing with them anyway, so... This will go nicely in my display cabinet collection. Very happy to have this. Uh, Bucky and Jenny, like I said, are going to stay in their packages. Um, also for Deadeye... Um, he's got two different, like, mouse beaks, you could say. Uh, quite similar. One's closed, but one's showing more teeth. And then he's got... Um, Extra hands, so if anything ever happens to the hands, they can be replaced. So yeah, very happy to have all these figures in my collection. Can't wait for the Toad Trooper next. Toad Borg would be awesome. Man, I hope they... I hope Boss Fight Studio keep on making these and release every character involved in the entire series. That would be cool. Whether, they pop, whether all of them will be popping enough, I'm not sure. But I'm hoping as well they release the, um, the, the ships, like the Toad Croaker, Toad Double Bubble, the Righteous Indignation. The Righteous Indignation, if I said that too fast. Um, because I messaged them and said, would you ever consider releasing the ships? And they said, if the toy line is proper enough, and said, that is a possibility. So please, because I've lost my original Toad Croaker and Toad Double Bubble, I don't know what happened to them. I've been trying to find out for a few weeks now, and I cannot figure out where they are. But yeah, guys, that has been the Bucky here figures. Hope you enjoy those. And if you're interested in yourself... Um, Look at Boss Fight Studios, see what they offer. Or, um, I got mine from In Demand Toys. Check those guys out. So, that is all for me, and thank you for watching. Boom. See you soon.